the nth term of this infinite series is given to be equal to n plus 1 divided by n times n plus 2 multiplied by minus x raised to the power n plus 1. Now multiply and divide by 2, we get half of 2n plus 2 divided by n times n plus 2 multiplied by minus x raised to the power n plus 1. The term 2n plus 2 in the numerator can be expressed as n plus n plus 2. And therefore the nth term can be written as half of in brackets 1 upon n plus 2 plus 1 upon n multiplied by minus x raised to the power n plus 1. Therefore, the sum to infinity, let's denote it by s, is equal to the summation n is equal to 1 to infinity, half of, in brackets, 1 upon n plus 1 upon n plus 2, multiplied by minus x raised to the power n plus 1. This is equal to half of summation n is equal to 1 to infinity, minus raised to the power n plus 1, times x raised to the power n plus 1 upon n, plus half of summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus raised to the power n plus 1 times x raised to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 2. Now multiply and divide both terms by x. Therefore, s can be written as x upon 2 summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus raised to the power n plus 1 times x raised to the power n divided by n plus 1 upon 2x times summation n is equal to 1 to infinity times minus raised to the power n plus 1 times x raised to the power n plus 2 upon n plus 2. Now the first summation, which is summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus raised to the power n plus 1 times x raised to the power n upon n can be expanded as x minus x square upon 2 plus x cube upon 3 minus and so on and note that this is equal to ln of 1 plus x. Now we'll evaluate the second summation in the expression for s. This is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus raised to the power n plus 1 times x raised to the power n plus 2 upon n plus 2. Put n plus 2 is equal to j, therefore when n is equal to 1, j is equal to 3. Therefore the second summation is equal to summation j is equal to 3 to infinity minus raised to the power j minus 1 times x raised to the power j upon j. Now add and subtract x minus x square upon 2. Now the first three terms on the right hand side can be expressed as summation j is equal to 1 to infinity minus raised to the power j minus 1 x raised to the power j upon j. And the remaining terms are minus in brackets x minus x square upon 2. Now the summation on the right hand side can be expanded as x minus x square upon 2 plus x cube upon 3, minus and so on. Therefore, the second summation in the expression for s is equal to ln of 1 plus x minus x plus x square upon 2. Using the above results, s is equal to x upon 2 times ln of 1 plus x plus 1 upon 2x times in brackets ln of 1 plus x minus x plus x square upon 2 and this is equal to in brackets x upon 2 plus 1 upon 2x multiplied by ln of 1 plus x minus half plus x upon 4. And this is equal to 
x squared plus 1 upon 2x times ln 1 plus x minus half plus x upon 4. And this is the required answer.